Okay, thanks, Wendy. Keep walking, no one will get hurt. Flight Y4632. Okay, we just got through security and we're running to the gate now. We only have two hours and 16 minutes of our flight, so we gotta hurry. Wait, two hours and 16 minutes? Estamos in Starbucks. Shameful, so shameful. <laughs> we made it. Today we're flying our first Mexican airline, Valeris. We're off to Tulum. We are flying into the Cancun airport at first and then attempting to take some type of a bus that's going to take us to Tulum. So far it has gone off without a hitch. We took an Uber from Ajijic to here and ended up being like 200 and... 46 pesos. 246 pesos. Few drivers canceled. Just one. Oh. One driver canceled. One driver canceled, but we did make it. The parking around the airport is really expensive. The cheapest we found, which is off-site, was what, like 119? 119 a day. A day. I did a thing. What'd you do? <laughs> How adorable is this bag? <laughs> the most. You guys, I have a problem. I got a Starbucks coffee and I'm pretty jealous of Jordan's latte because it's like vanilla and flavorful and delicious. And then we were passing by the store and I noticed for 29 pesitos, I could get a nuez gran pope. I actually don't exactly know what this is other than maybe like a alcoholic flavoring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is a lot more than I was expecting. Alrighty, gotta put some Mexican in it. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> it's pretty windy and pretty loud, but we're just about to get on the plane. <laughs> Bye, Jordan. Bye, Jordan! <laughs> so we're on the plane now, although we booked together for Bolaris, we are not sitting together. It's a Mexico travel miracle! We talked to the deal with the guy who was sitting next to Maddie, <laughs> and when we booked, we were assigned separate seats away from each other, probably to try to get us to pay extra to have them together. <laughs> And Jordan doesn't know that I already told you this, but that's okay. Como vino y también nachos, como leeres fiesta con tequila y fresco. on the way to Tulum. We just got into Cancun and we could have taken a bus <laughs> for about 1,200 pesos and then taken another cab once we got into Tulum to our hotel, but we opted to go for a cab for 1,400 pesos that took us direct to the hotel. Uh-huh. And this is for three people. Yeah. yeah, and the bus leaves every hour, so we would have had to wait another about another 15, 50 minutes. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> yeah. We just arrived here in Tulum. It took us about two hours in cab and we're now in this awesome Airbnb. It started raining the second we showed up. So we kind of got drenched in a matter of seconds. This place looks awesome already. There's air conditioning, which is great because it's pretty humid and kind of musty in here. <laughs> Jordan has already made a mess. So this electric water dispenser is like nothing I've ever seen. So I'm guessing you take this cap off, put this guy in here. Pop it on there. Put it on there like so, and voila. Voila. <laughs> Is it like not plugged in? It's not plugged in. <laughs> After 
you plug it in, <laughs> voila. So from everything that we've learned in Mexico, tipping cab drivers is not customary. However, when we were getting in this cab, the people who sold us the cab ride, who were not the driver, they were like, by the way, tip isn't included, and they're like ushering us in the car and everything. We get here and we still decided to give this guy over a 10% tip on the 1400 peso cab ride here, and he was like, no, no, you're missing 100 pesos. What? No, this is over 10%. He's like, yeah, 100 pesos more, 100 pesos more. Alta. No, es más que 10%. No, es 20%. No. Si, sí, dame 100 más. Es que si sí está lejos. No, no, no. no, no. Ya, ya pagué. Por eso, pero si sí está lejos. 50 pesos más, dame. No. We stuck to our guns. I don't know if that was the right thing to do or not, but he stood outside. He stayed in the hotel. But I'd like to jump in, in front of the hotel. Because he was trying to screw us because in the cab ride, he was, while we were in the cab, he said it's um, like typical to give a hundred or two hundred dollar tip. U.S. dollars. Two hundred U.S. dollars. So he, he's straight up lying to us trying to <laughs> us out of, I mean, I can't say that, trying to, <laughs> <laughs> trying to screw us out. Of 100 or 200 dollars. Before this trip, we heard that Tulum was expensive, stuff is priced in US dollars sometimes, and already it does seem like they treat people like they're still in the US, and they treat people like they probably don't know Mexican customs and culture. So if this is any indication of what's to come, should be interesting. <laughs> I, I don't know, I've never in my life had good experience with cab drivers. That's why I That's why never we typically use, use Uber, but yeah. Uber doesn't exist here, so I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be this huge. I wasn't either. Further into that personal size. That's awesome. So we decided to go get a bite to eat. It's pretty late. What time is it? Nine. It's, it's nine o'clock. Why are you at, all wet? Well, we had we ran in the rain. It was not raining when we started walking here, but then it it just the clouds opened up and yeah, so that was pretty fun. It, it, it was super crazy though. It poured for like a minute and then just basically stopped. Sputtered out, yeah. And now we're sitting at this restaurant. They had wooden menus. You can hear monkeys behind us. I was like, is this sound effects or are they real <laughs> monkeys? <laughs> Given we're in the jungle, I'm guessing. <laughs> it's really cool.